swallows are amazing creatures, but did you know that they are so beneficial to our horses as well? Stay tuned and find out why. Hello and welcome back to the Naturally YouTube channel. I'm Mary Ann and I'm passionate about helping you to heal your horse, mind, body and soul. Naturally. So today is all about swallows. Um, what they are, what they do and why we love having them around our herd so much. Join me to find out all of this information. Swallows are very small birds, measuring usually between 17 and 19 centimetres. They have small broad bills and pointed wings and usually have long tail streamers as well. The juveniles have a shorter tail streamer and are generally browner and less shiny in feathers. They are very strong in flight and incredibly agile with, and they frequently swoop and glide when they are feeding. They can be found throughout the UK However, they are only with us during the spring and summer months, usually appearing in April and disappearing in September. This year, our first swallow arrived back in our stables on the 11th of April. And the second one followed it on the 24th of April and the others slowly cascaded in over the next couple of weeks. It was an absolute sight to see. Our first one, bless him, looked a little bit lonely when he first arrived. When the rest of the flock arrived, there was a lot of noise and they just seemed very, very happy to see each other. Much of their time is spent in flight, although they frequently perch on wires and other prominent perches. They can also land on the ground and this is usually to gather nesting material for when they are preparing to breed. These swallows that we have predominantly nest in old barns and stables and other farm outbuildings. They usually follow the food though so if there is abundant insect activity in other areas then they are likely to try those areas as well for nesting sites however they do tend to go back to similar sites year on year while some songbirds nest only once in their in the nests that they build. One study has shown that most swallows actually return to the same colony, with 44% of breeding pairs occupying the same nests. They seem to simply repair the nests, update them, and then use the nests. They do also create new nests as well, and seem to create a number of them before deciding which ones to use, and some of them won't be used in that same year. Sometimes they can be used in the following years. Barn swallows generally nest between June and July. Both the males and the females build the nest, usually working in the mornings and making up to a thousand trips to collect mud and other resources such as hay, straw, and if you've seen the nests in our stables, there's also horse hair in this as well. The eggs will generally incubate for about 14 to 16 days and the female will probably lay somewhere between four and five eggs and once they have hatched the young will generally leave the nest within 18 to 23 days so it's very quick for them to to grow and develop as you'll see here then the eggs that they come out of are very small and as i said the swallows themselves are only 17 to 19 centimeters in size so it's not surprising that they produce small eggs, but, but the nestlings do grow very, very quickly. We have three successful breeding pairs that nest in our barns, and they generally have at least two broods each. While swallows generally have at least one brood, two brood seasons can sometimes be attempted however ours seem quite successful at this we do think though this is because of the abundance of insects in the area and also the fact that the stables that they are nesting in we make sure they're secure as possible so that they can do what they need to to raise their nestlings
A breeding pair of barn swallows can sometimes get help from others when raising the nestlings. These helpers can often be older siblings from pre previous clutches. Their average lifespan seems to range depending on which source you're looking at and I've found indications from anywhere from two years up to eight years. However, the oldest known swallow was 15 years old and 11 months. Swallows usually migrate for the winter and travel an impressive 6,000 miles to migrate from their nesting sites in the UK to southern Africa. They do this twice a year in search of food. Faced with little prospect of no food in the winter, they generally head south during September on October months. Their migration is no walk in the park. They don't generally put on much weight during the summer months, mostly because they're too busy feeding their nestlings. And when they travel those 6,000 miles, they have to feed on the wing whilst they're going. And sometimes food can be a little bit scarce. It's all where they're most at risk is when they're on their migration, as there is a risk of starvation and exhaustion, not to mention the changes in extreme weather, especially if they decide to cross the Sahara Desert. Therefore, unfortunately, swallow populations do fluctuate year on year, depending on the strength of the swallows and the health of them as they travel all those distances. Oh, yeah. Are you enjoying this video all about swallows? If you are, let me know in the comments below. Also, make sure that you're subscribed and you click the bell icon so you get a notification about all future videos. Now, back to the swallows. As you can see, the herd aren't bothered by them. They're not upset by them in any way. They have no real impact on the horses' lives, except for the fact that they take so many insects out of the environment. They feed almost exclusively on flying insects. So these can be anything from blue bottles, houseflies, bees, wasps, flying ants, and most importantly for us horse owners, horseflies and midges. So all of the annoying flying buzzy creatures that annoy us and annoy our horses during the summer months. It is believed that on average a single barn swallow will consume 60 insects per hour or an amazing 850 insects per day. That's just fewer than 25,000 insects per month around 50,000 insects per month per breeding pair. When you consider that we have three successful breeding pairs in our stables and barns, that makes up around 150,000 insects per month that are consumed by the barn swallows rather than annoying us or our herd. And that figure of 150,000 is merely from the adults alone. When you consider a brood of swallows or nestlings, if you're averaging around three or four nestlings per nest, you need about 6,000 insects to feed the growing nestlings. So if you take the 6,000 insects per day and times that by 23, which is the average maximum that the young will stay in the nest, that gives you 138,000 insects that have to be eaten by those nestlings for them to gain flight and then to feed themselves. So for a single breeding pair to produce four nestlings into adulthood and then not even considering that the, the nestlings will stay around, which they generally do, you're nearing on 200,000 insects taken from the land. That is an absolutely amazing figure. So if you take into the account that we have had three successful breeding pairs raising 
two if not three broods of nestlings in a single breeding season. If we conservatively say that each breeding pair only has the two broods, then in a single breeding season, 978,000 insects have been eaten by swallows and their broods. That is almost a million insects off the land. So I hope that from those figures you can see exactly why we actively encourage the barn swallows to nest in our stables, to nest in our barns. Now I understand that some people don't like them because they do leave droppings under the nests which cannot be helped. But we are quite happy to sweep that up in return for them consuming almost a million insects from our land and acting as a natural fly or insect reduction to take an active part in the ecosystem. So how can you encourage swallows to nest in your outbuildings? Well, they prefer outbuildings which provide dark ledges, nooks and crannies for nesting. As you can see from our stables, we've put up little ledges for them to nest on and they've really taken to those. It's allowed us to almost indicate where they should nest, to encourage them from away from areas where we don't want them, such as on top of lights. And on top of lights, we have put protection there to make sure that they cannot affect the lights or the electrics within the stables. If you're going to put any nesting platforms, please make sure that they are fully out of reach from any cats or similar predators that you may have on your land. The next time that you see barn swallows, take a moment and just watch them. They are a sight to see. They are not endangered, but are so helpful to our herd. There's no reason not to encourage them to be where we want them to and in them doing the job it saves us a lot of time, money and effort. That was all about swallows. I hope you now see why we absolutely love having them in our stables and barns and why we are so excited when they have nestlings of their own. Let me know in the comments below whether you will now be trying to encourage swallows to your barns or stables, whether you already have them and whether you've noticed the difference. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you get notification about all future videos. Find us on Facebook, join the Facebook group and check us out on Instagram. We're naturally underscore Willow for virtually daily updates on the herd. I'll see you again soon. Bye.